Swalwell's remarks, peppered with derogatory nicknames and age-related jabs, strike a harsh and substantial tone. By focusing on ageism, identity, and cognitive dissonance, we confront the prejudice that shapes public opinion and political behavior. Let's talk about Trump's age. Don't say 78-year-old. Let's say almost 80, because he is. And this guy, for the last two years, has wanted to make this race entirely about age. You know what, pal? You got it. We aren't running against Donald Trump. We are running against Don Old Trump. He's an old man with old ideas, and we should say that every day as we communicate what he threatens to all of us. And finally, in your messaging, as you talk to neighbors, as you knock on doors, and I don't want us to forget about knocking on doors. We can put our hot takes out there uh, on social media, but nothing beats, especially in the swing states, eyeball to eyeball at someone's doorstep making your case. And so my first rule always in messaging is tell me a story or bore me. Tell your story as to why you're supporting Kamala and why we can't have Trump. I'll tell you from highlighting Donald Trump's age as a point of criticism feels like a personal attack that dismisses his past experiences and accomplishments. Age can symbolize wisdom and stability, especially in leadership. Respect for tradition and elders is paramount. Calling Donald Trump don't Trump may come across as rude and childish, undermining the seriousness of political discourse. This focus on catchy insults over meaningful policy discussions can be criticized for diverting attention from the real issues facing the nation. Many in the public might argue that this approach signals a lack of serious policy proposals, reflecting poorly on those who engage in such tactics.